Silkland has sent me two display port cables. These are three meters long and they can do up to 8K video. And we're not gonna be able to test it on 8K because I have nothing that can do 8K here whatsoever. But I'm a great fan of DisplayPort rather than HDMI. Don't get me wrong, HDMI is good, but I just think DisplayPort is even better. Let me know in the comments whether you agree or not. So these are, it says, let me quickly read it out, DisplayPort 2.0 cable, 16K at 60 hertz, 10K at 60 hertz, and 8K at 120 hertz. What it says, 4K at 240 hertz, and 165 hertz to 144 hertz, 80 gigabytes per second, HDR, I'm not gonna carry on, I'll just stick it up there for you, for you to have a look at. <laughs> Otherwise we could be here for a long time. Let's get them open. So when they approached me, they said, would you like to do a video on some display port cables? And I said, yes, please, but can I have them at three meters long? And the reason for that is because I'm actually gonna use them. I'm not just doing a video, I'm gonna be using them permanently, providing they work, of course, as a connection from my main computer, that one over there, to my two display ports. So what happens, it goes from my computer into my KVM switch and then Separate cables go into my display ports. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not sure if I was going to do it the other way around, but I can't because I need it to go from there to there and then from there to there. So I've already got 8K cables in there for the actual monitors, but I don't have any 8K ones going to my PC until now. Let's get them both out. Got one out, let's get the other one out. Nice bit of packaging, it's no no overkill, but it says thank you for your purchase. Please feel free to contact us if you need assistance and blah blah blah. So this is it. Yes, I do prefer 8K. It's because it carries a stronger signal and it can hold more data traveling to and fro. And if you get the ones with the little uh, tags on, you can accidentally not pull them out. These ones haven't got the little tags on, but they do look very nice and also, if I can get one done, also the breeding, or what is it, is it breeding or beading? The, the cable <laughs> is, looks like it's very nice. I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me, I'm saying it because it is nice. It's got a nice grip to it, it's, it's grippy. So I will test it on my computers under my desk first, just to make sure they work, I think. I'm not sure, but I think that can do display ports well. If not, I'll plug it into my main computer and do it like that. Yeah, nice, very nicely made. I do like that, it's good quality. It's got their name or their initial on it, S for Silk, Silkland. And that's about it. Yeah, I know, it's just a cable. But they do say you get what you pay for, and hopefully these are very good quality. They do feel like good quality. Also, it says it's compatible with G-Sync and FreeSync. So perfect. So with that, let's do a quick test to make sure she actually works. Before you start putting comments down about the state of my cabling, yeah, I know it's a mess, but that computer under my desk is basically a test rig. So anything I get, if I need to test it onto a PC, it's a lot easier for me to plug it straight into that first, just to make sure they actually work before I set them up and plug them into my main computer. 
like we just did. And yes, I didn't show you me installing it into the, my main PC because I thought it's going to take too long. Because there's a lot of undoing and a lot of redoing, especially on my cabling. So yeah, that computer under my desk is no longer under my desk. I've actually moved it to the back of the room at the moment because I am going to be doing another computer build in the very near future. So watch out for that one. So yeah, the cables work perfectly. I've done a screenshot of the two monitors or the settings for the two monitors. So I've got display port number two, which is the one on the left. That is 165 hertz running 2560 by 1440 and 165 hertz. And the same with monitor number one, the main one. Again, exactly the same 165 hertz, 2560 by 1440. So that yes, they work perfectly. And I know there's gonna be haters and lovers for HDMI or DisplayPort. I am a great lover of DisplayPort, have been for a very long time. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with HDMI, but if you want a dual monitor or triple monitor, you're better off getting DisplayPort because they work better, or display port cables work better on dual or triple monitors, as you can see. So with that, as always, I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check them out. They are affiliated links that don't cost you any more money if you decide you want to click on them. It does help the channel as well. So with that, if you like this video or have any comments, please post them below. And if you do like this video, consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.